Welcome Never Betters to my YouTube channel. I'm Susan and this is Buddy Sherman. We are so glad you're here. So today I have a one hour vinyasa flow practice for you all about movement and message. In the flow, we're gonna move in and out of variations of half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. And the message is about cultivating a resilient spirit. So I hope you enjoy. If you like what you see, hit that thumbs up, push that bell for future notifications, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now let's get after the best version of you today. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Morning. So if you use that Spotify playlist by following me at Never Better Yoga, go ahead and we're going to press that Spotify play button list right now. Then when you're ready, come with me. We're just going to start seated with a nice crisscross style of our legs. In your hands, you're going to take a Hakini Mudra. So the hands are going to allow each of your finger pads to press together. And then let your pressing of the hands, that mudra, settle right in the center of your being, right in the solar plex area. Shrug your shoulders up, keep pressing your fingers together. Breathe in, roll the shoulders down, breathe out, and just close your eyes. Now, staying right in this position with the pressing of the pads of your fingers together, this mudra has to do with our intellect, with our awareness, pressing together with that sixth chakra of awareness and that knowingness that you are divine light. So that being said, stay right here, pull your chin to your chest and keep pressing the finger pads together. If you have a purpose today for your practice, we are going to continue to unpack wholehearted living and today we are tapping into the resilience of our spirits, how to cultivate that resilience. Now, if that brings to mind a purpose for your practice today, go ahead and seal it into your heart by pulling your hands together in that Anjali Mudra prayer style, chin still to chest, head bowed down, eyes closed. Now open up the eyes, breathe that purpose for your practice in and up, and then float your arms down to the sides. Collect the hands back into the center, breathe in, look up. Exhale, breathe out. Make that circular motion smooth. Round the back, tuck the chin when you draw in. Expand, reach, and float the arms back down. Two more times. Inhale, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, float down. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale, rise up, breathe in. Exhale, float and lower. This time, when you rise your arms up, breathe in. Part the arms, right hand, left thigh, take a twist. Lift up super tall from the sit bones to the crown of your head. Back left arm crosses up and over to bow down to the earth. Inhale, rise up, maybe eagle arms, maybe just hug, drawing into the center line. Pinky fingers toward me. Forearms lift, gaze even lift, soften your gaze, breathe. Unravel that connection, sweep the arms out and up, breathe in. Exhale, twist, left hand on the outside of the right thigh. Let the rotation come from the waist, the sits bones stay grounded. 
right arm travels up let it cross over the diagonal capture the outside of the left thigh draw down bow in inhale rise up perhaps eagle arms or just give yourself a nice hug breathe and move your breath in and out through your nose now unravel that bind sweep the arms out and up Take your hands as they float down beneath your kneecaps and start to circle around. So take a little sushi grind here, just rolling around that Hakini Mudra focuses on concentration, on intellect and on that divine light within each and every one of us now reverse that direction spin your body around let the rounded back travel on the back side of the circle and the arched back on the front <clears throat> stabilize in the center sweep the arms out and up breathe in Left hand over to the side, tented finger pads, right arm up and over. Peel the right hand behind your ear. Exhale, right elbow to left. Inhale, open and expand. Beautiful. Do it again. Draw into your own self as you then expand that divine light from within. Shine it out. Exhale, draw in inhale open up reach the right arm up and take a nice deep bend to the left whoo now sweep the arms back out and up breathe in look up exhale tip the right hand to the right side elbow can be bent left arm reaches up and over creating that space between your ear and your shoulder Left hand peels behind your ear, contract as you draw out left elbow to right. Inhale, open up. Exhale, draw back in. Inhale, expand. Last time, exhale, pull it in, contract, round the back, tuck the chin. Inhale, open up, stretch the left arm up, and then really lean up and over to the right. Hold and breathe. Now come around. You're going to let your hands, your feet are going to be the width of your mat. Your hands are going to be thumbs out. Now roll your shoulder heads up and back. Bend your elbows and just very gently lean back just a little. Maybe let the heart puff up. Let the shoulder blades draw together. Just hold right here and stretch out the front body. Breathe in and breathe out. Now slip your hands into your imaginary back pockets. Come down on your forearms. Pull your knees in. Straighten the left leg as the right leg stays in a hover. Now let that switch, hover the right leg, left leg bent, forearms down, palms pressing, elbows, forearms pressing. Now switch. Now turn it into a little run on your forearms, just shifting knee into chest, opposite one at a time, and just start to build a little internal heat. Let your breath move. Ah, let it move. So this week, we have been looking at vulnerability. Ah, you almost can't even say that word without bringing Brene Brown to the thought of your mind. Now, draw in. She's a rock star in explaining to the world what vulnerability is. Now lower down to a hover. Draw the knees back in. So she wrote this book, The Power of Vulnerability. Legs up, flex the feet, lower down. And in that book, vulnerability might have a connotation. You're going to make this circle as we 
unpack this vulnerability concept. Knees come in, legs lift up, feet flex, they lower down. Point the toes, knees into chest, lift up, flex the feet, lower down. Now just keep that going. So vulnerability has been kind of known to perhaps be a weakness or maybe fear or shame or uncertainty. But what Brene Brown reveals is that the truth is it's the greatest measure of courage. So in measuring that courage, being vulnerable, she came up with 10 guideposts to living wholehearted. Go back to the beginning, right then left. You let the legs stretch, let the thighs come into the chest. Yes, nice. Now I want you to hang on to the backs of your hamstrings, rock and roll, come all the way to the top of your mat. Feet are gonna heel toe, maybe further than your hips to hang in rag doll. Let your hands slip one on each bicep, maybe even bend your knees and then ignite a shift. So in this shift, in this sway, in this sea of love, just kind of ignite that movement from the soles of your feet to the crown of your head. Now hold up in the center and shake out anything that could hinder your practice today, any uncertainty, any angst, any worry. Release your hands to the mat, pump up your heart, halfway lift, exhale, bow down. Do that again, maybe hands on shins, halfway lift. Exhale, pull yourself together. One more time, pump the heart up, breathe in. Exhale, bow down. Now sweep the arms out and up. Come all the way to stand. Take your right hand down the right thigh. Legs are wide, left arm up and over, side bend. Stretch both arms back up. Left hand slides down, right arm up and over. Now come back to the center. Tee your arms like goal posts as your heart lifts, even look up. Then lace and slip your hands together. Slide the hands down the backside with that Kali Mudra style of your fingers. Index fingers together, look up, breathe in, open the front body. Exhale, bow down to a fold. Heel toe your feet to the width of your hips. Pump the heart up one more time. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now step your body back to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Now in your down dog, pedal through your feet. Pressing your heels back behind your second and third toe. Breathing in and out through your nose. That ujjayi pranayama breath. Now pop both of your heels up on the in breath. Bend your knees and let them hover on the out breath. Right knee lands, right foot pivots off your mat, left leg goes long, left arm up, stack your wings, look up at the left hand, left arm up and overhead. Now possibly lift the left leg up for quarter moon and maybe catch it with your hand for a chapasana variation. Now if we were looking at you from an aerial view, be a nice big circular motion, make it big. Release the left foot down, left hand down. Spin to the front of your mat with your palms planted. Now push into your palms, levitate the right shin off your mat. Keep your hips low, you're in high plank with the right shin lifted. Stretch the right leg back, three-legged high plank. Right knee, right tricep, tap it high. 
stretch it back stay in high plank right knee left tricep cross it over your body stay in plank beautiful stretch it back right leg lifts roll open at the hip bend the knee flex the foot spread the toes now circle the right foot around your ankle so today we are going to unpack the third guidepost, which is resilience of spirit. Reverse that direction, cultivating resilience. Ah, how do we cultivate resilience? Now, draw the right knee right up the center line. Now your back is rounded, your chin is tucked. Step the right foot in between your hands. Dip the left knee down. Sweep your arms up. Breathe in. Cultivating a resilient spirit. Lift the heart as you tee the arms. Now slip the hands together behind your back. Slide that Kali Mudra style of your hands down the left hamstring. Dip your hips. Beautiful. Release the hands. Left toes are tucked under. Pop the hips up. Draw back. Pyramid pose. Inhale and lengthen your heart up. Exhale. Bow down. Keep a little softness in the front leg. The back heel can be lifted, but squeeze in to your own midline. Now from here, spin the left heel down. Take the right hand to the outside of the right leg. Peel the left arm up. So open. There you go. Now, hugging into the midline. Rise from there, warrior two. Flip the right palm. Peaceful, keeping the right shin headed over the right knee. Pinwheel your hands down. Step back to a high plank pose. From your high plank, draw back down dog. Do that again. Peel the heels up, pull the belly in, shift to high plank. Exhale, draw up and back down dog. One more time. Inhale, peel the heels up, hug your thumbs in. Wrap your upper triceps around the back side of your body. High plank. Exhale, draw up and back down dog. This time, shift into high plank and hold. Drop your knees down, point your toes, shoulders over the wrists, bend the arms, chin, chest, belly, slither right onto your belly, slide your forearms forward for sphinx pose. Yeah, keep the toes pointed, let the inner edges of the feet go long. Lower your chin down. Inhale, rise back up, cultivating that resilient spirit. Resilience is the ability to overcome adversity. Whoo, lift back up. Have we had any adversity? <laughs> any at all? Lower back down. Maybe baby seal. Overcoming. The ability to overcome adversity. Lift up. Breathe in. Breathe in. Now here's the ticket without numbing or powerlessness. Whoo! Hands by your rib cage. Rise the heart up. Bhujangasana, maybe up dog. Palms of hands, tops of feet. Draw your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Breathe in, pick the heels up. Breathe out, lower the heels down. This time, peel the heels up. Bend the knees, let them hover and float over your mat. Feel the strength of your body. Breathe. Left knee down, left foot pivots off your mat. Left hand stays down, maybe on a block, maybe tented finger pads, right arm up. Root through the outer edge of the right foot. Right arm up and over for a long right side body. Now that possible lifting for quarter moon and that possible optional chapasana connection to open up from that aerial view. We've got that big circle. Show up big. Show up and be seen. 
Release the right hand and the right leg. Spin to parallel your hips. Now your left shin is down. Hands are down there, planted. Push the earth away, pull your belly in, hover the left shin right over the mat. Stretch the left leg back, three-legged high plank. Left knee, left tricep, tap it up high. Stretch it back, three-legged high plank. Left knee, right tricep, somebody breathe. Stretch it on back. Take that left leg strong and straight back, three-legged dog. Roll open at your hip. Keep stability through your Styria Hosta Sun hands. Circle that left foot around your ankle. And then reverse that direction. Flare your toes out. Draw the right hip back. Now pull the left knee right up the center line like you're going to kiss the cap of that knee. Step it in between your hands. Dip the right knee down on Janayasana. Sweep your arms up. Breathe in. Spiral the pinky fingers up and back. Tee the arms. Breathe out. Now slip your hands together, maybe opposite thumb on top. Slide them down the inside, this time of the right hamstring. Dip the hips as you shift the gaze up. Release that connection, tuck the right toes under, pop the hips up, pyramid pose, Parjvo Tanasana. Lift the heart up, breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Now spin the right heel down, line the left heel up with the right arch of your foot. Left hand is going to travel inside the left leg. Left knee tracks over toe, two and three. Right wing lifts up, breathe. Now from the belly, lift up as you come right into Virabhadrasana, two. Flip that left palm for peace. Now pinwheel your hands down, move through Vinyasa, emptying your breath out, maybe knees, chin, chest, belly, or lower from plank. Rise up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Now walk your hands just a touch closer to your feet. Pop your heels up on the in-breath. On the out breath, bend your knees, step, walk, float, fly, feet to your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in, Syria Namaskara A, exhale, breathe out, the sun salutation. Be seen, show up, stand tall, look up, collect your hands. Exhale, dive right over your legs as you fold. Inhale and lengthen, step, or float your body back, take it through vinyasa. So how do we learn to show up and be seen living wholeheartedly? <sighs> Overcoming adversity, pop your heels up, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees, breathe out. Hop, float, fly, feet to your hands, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow down and fold. Now rise up, stand tall, breathe in, be big. Exhale, dive over your legs, hinge, bend and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body through vinyasa. Know that you could always take that flow right out and meet back in down dog. Your practice, your style. We're going to do two more rounds, same series of moves, but each time you move through, cultivating that resilience, that ability to overcome any type of adversity by staying and breathing. So pop your heels up, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees, breathe out. Hop, float, fly, connect your breath to your moves. Make it light, inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold, there is no rush. Rise up, breathe in, sweep the arms out and up. 
Exhale, dive over your legs. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float your body back. Move it on through. Vinyasa. Heart lifting, diving your hips up and back. Now hold in this down dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Two more times. Breathe in and breathe out. Clear the energy. Clear the air. Clear your heart, mind, and soul. Breathe in. On the out breath, bend your knees. Inhale, hop, float, fly. Feet to your hands at the top of your mat. Find that lift, that lightness. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold, root to rise. Come with me, stand tall. Exhale, dive over your legs. Hinge, bend, fold, wash away anything in your way today. Step or float it back. We are resilient to overcoming adversity by tapping in to tools that help. Land in down dog, breathe. Now from here, pop your heels up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Step, float, fly, feet to your hands, top of your mat, land in chair, Utkatasana. Hands collect at heart center. Left upper arm outside the right front thigh. Press your palms together, pull down as you lift the left heel up, look at the right big toe. Stretch the left leg back. Let it land. Twisted crescent. Maybe you open the arms up high to low. Breathe. Now, up and around, right into peaceful. Flip the right palm. Peaceful, arc up and back. Float up, half moon. Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe you want to use a block. The right hand moves over a little and out to the right side of your mat. We started out with quarter moon. Here we are in half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. With that possible Chapasana connection, open the heart, shine on. Let that divine light shine from the inside out. Whoo! Now, release, turn it into an L shape. Now, in this L shape, you might want to hop the right foot back because our hands are going to plant. Hands are going to plant on the mat, so the right foot might have to hop way back. Legs are in an L shape. Peel the right heel off your mat. Bend the right leg and take a switch with your legs. Land on the left leg in a standing L shape. Pop the left heel up. Bend the left leg, lift up and switch. Right leg lands. One more time. Lift up, switch. Maybe you catch a little hang time. Left leg lands, L shape. Woo, beautiful. Now bend the right leg, step the, Bend the left leg, step the right leg way back. Dip the right knee down. Now the left leg's in front. Sweep your arms up, breathe in. Right hand forward, left hand back. Right toes tuck under. Up and around, right into peaceful. Flip that left palm, toss that ball up, reverse. Pinwheel your hands down. Move your body through that flow. Lift up. Maybe you want a little fly time. And then let your body come through your style of vinyasa. Breathing in and out through your nose. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Shorten up that dog of yours. Yep, shorten it up a little bit. Now pop the heels up, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees, breathe out. Inhale, hop, float, fly, feet to your hands to Utkatasana, chair pose. 
Collect the hands at heart center. Ring it out, right upper arm on the outside of the left front thigh. Now somebody breathe, breathe. Now look down at the left big toe. Peel the right heel in. Use the core, use those bandhas. Stretch the right leg back. Let it land on its own track of train. Stretch the arms, the wings to the heavens. Open up, twisted crescent, breathe. Now up and around, right into peaceful. Flip the left palm, toss it up, reach up and back. From peaceful, float it up, half moon. Ardha Chandrasana, left hand down, right arm lifts. Now you could stay here, left toes are forward, right toes are toward the right side of the house or you could bend that right leg for that chapasana connection. Now, shine that inner light. Press the hand into the foot. Open up your heart, breathe in, breathe in. Release as you lower the right hand down. Come into that L shape. You might have to hop the left foot back so there is space between your hands and the left foot. Now, peel the left heel off your mat. You might even take a peek at the right pinky toe. Is it facing down toward your mat? Is there balance in your hips? Left leg bends. Just take a lift up and a switch. Right leg lands. Right leg bends. Heel pops up. Then take that lift. Left leg is going to 12 o'clock. Make that switch. You choose the pace. I recommend slow. Last time, left heel lifts, third time's a charm. Bend the knee, drive the right leg to 12 o'clock and switch, right leg lands. Now you're gonna bend your right leg, step the left leg back and dip the left knee down. Yeah? Now rise your arms up, breathe in. Left hand forward, right hand back, breathe out. Left toes are tucked under, let the crown of the head lift. Circle right arm down, left arm back, right into peaceful, toss that ball up. Reverse, warrior. Pinwheel your hands down, move your body through that vinyasa flow, your style, your version your way of moving and breathing. Offering your heart up, breathe in, dive your hips up and back, breathe out, down dog. Walk your hands back to your feet at the back of your mat. Heel toe your feet far enough apart to come into malasana. So how do we cultivate that resilient spirit? We develop those problem solving techniques. I've said this every time I've taught probably for as many years as I've taught that we have to stay and breathe, right? Stay and breathe rather than fight and flight. Now lift out of your hips a little, lift your heart up. Lift your heart up, nice. Now from here, rise up, breathe in, resilience. Lift up, cultivate that spirit of resilience, staying and breathing rather than fighting and flighting, yes? Come up and down, one more time. Inhale, rise up, breathe in, look up, look up. Exhale, come back down and hold. Take your hands in front of your shins, capture your heels, pop your hips up, kick your heels out, physically pull yourself together. We have so much more control than we think we do about what we think about. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, fold. So those problem solving techniques Maybe you find ways to count it out, physically count it out, like one, two, three, four. As something comes up, 
that really ignites emotion inside of you. Let's do it right now. Breathe in for four. Halfway lift. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Fold down for four. Four, three, two, one. Now hold right here. Maybe you fold like this. Problem solving technique, shake out. Shake out any of that uncertainty, any angst. And then rise up back of your mat. So the other tip is to ask for help when you need it. Slide the right hand down. Your legs are probably a little wider than hips. If not, no, no worries. Right hand slides down, left arm up and over. Come back to the center. You feel that additional length, that additional stretch. Left hand down, right arm up and over. Beautiful. Come back to the center. T your arms. Show up. Be seen. Lift the heart. Now lace the hands in that Kali Mudra style. Slide them down the back side. Retract your shoulders. Look up. Bend your knees, hands are still laced. Lift them off your back body, half of a chair. Release the hands down. Go ahead and walk out to a short little down dog and bring your feet together and really grip the mat with your hands. We're gonna do a little rapid fire flying, three to five of those little Shakti kicks where you kick your bum into action. Breathe the heels up. Bend the knees and kick your heels to your bum as you lift up. Now on the inhale, lift. On the exhale, land. You might catch a little hang time, stacking your shoulders over your wrists, gripping the mat with your hands. Beautiful. Now on the fifth one, or when you're ready, hop to the top of your mat into Utkatasana chair pose. Scoop the arms up, finger, pinky fingers roll back. Collect your hands at heart center. Ring it out and twist, left upper arm on the outside of the right front thigh. Now lift that left heel up, look down at the right big toe, stretch the left leg back. Twisted crescent, maybe open up. Now maybe you want to bind here. Maybe half bind, right hand behind the small of your back. Maybe you want to wrap a full bind. You choose, you decide, but ignite the left heel over the left ball of your foot. Up and around, right into peace. Flip the right palm, toss it up, reach up and back. Straighten the right leg, reverse your triangle. Should feel good. Now float up, come with me, half moon. Reach over and out, left arm lifts, right toes forward, shine on, peel open. That divine light, connect the left hand to the foot. Ask for help if you need it, open up Chapasana. Ignite that solid core of people you can count on. No matter what, spin to an L shape, dive over the right leg. I like to hop back so I can let my foot be as far away as I need to to plant my hands. Three switches, right leg lift, right leg bends. Lift up, switch. Do it again, lift up, take your time, switch. Maybe you wanna bend the right leg for a stag. You're gonna land on the left leg and hold. Land on the left leg and hold. Left leg lands and hold. Bend the left leg, step the right leg back, dip the right knee down. Yep. Sweep the arms up, breathe in. Right hand forward, left hand back. Right toes tuck, up and around. Right into peaceful warrior, peaceful warrior. Flip the left palm, reach up and back. Pinwheel your hands down, let it go, let it flow. Sweep up, maybe you take a little lift, maybe a little spirit dive. You choose, you decide. Moving through 
that vinyasa flow. Let the heart lift. Exhale, dive up and back. Adho Mukha, Svanasana, down dog. Breathe in with your heels lifting. Breathe out, bend your knees and hover them. This time, drop the knees. Point the toes. Walk your hands up your thighs. Sit on your heels, yes. Now, shrug and roll the shoulders up and back. Nice big circles. Nice big circles. Now, take that Hakini Mudra. Press the finger pads together. Yes, focus, concentration. Pull that Hakini Mudra to your solar plexus. Now, lift the heart up, expand. Tuck your toes under and elevate that Hukini Mudra up. Let the hands lift overhead. Soften the elbows, lean, pressing the pads of your fingers together. Let that divine light shine come back to the center. Ask for help if you need it. If you need it, come back to the center. Now that final little tip, release, is to connect to your spiritual being. Slide your hands together, point your toes, retract your shoulders, look up. Hands release, hands and knees, point the toes, bend the arms, travel down, chin, chest, belly, but slide your forearms out. Now this time, bend the right leg, pull the left forearm in, Sweep the right hand back just to catch the foot and pump the heart up. Breathe. Release that. Right forearm down. So how do we tap in to that spiritual side? Left leg bends. Reaching back, it's that faith, that knowingness that with your faith, believing things even when you can't see them, pump your heart up. Breathe in, knowing that we are connected to something higher than ourselves. Let the heart lift up, that we are not in this alone. Lift the heart up, breathe in, even though sometimes you might feel alone. If we're isolated, just know you are not alone. Lower the chin down. Now press the hands down, rise up, cultivate that resilient spirit. Lift your heart up. Maybe baby seal. Lower back down. Slide your hands by your ribs. Push up and back. Child's pose. Sweep your hands alongside your body. Bow your head down. A little variation of embryo. Just a little thank God asana right here. Bow down. Reconnecting to your purpose cultivating that ability not to run, not to tap into ways of numbing the pain, the disappointments in our life, but ways of cultivating that resilience in your spirit. You are so much stronger than you think. Now come back to down dog. Let the knees Elevate up off of your mat. Breathe in. Shorten up that down dog of yours. Last standing series. Are you ready? We've got this. Peel the heels up. Breathe in. Grip the mat. Grip it nice and tight with your finger pads. Exhale. Bend the knees. Hop, float, fly. Feet to your hands at the top of your mat. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Spiral the inner pinky fingers up. Hands to heart center. Ring it out and twist. Right upper arm on the outside of that left front thigh. Now press the palms together. Peel the right heel up. Look at the left big toe. Stretch the right leg back. Let the right leg land. Roll open. Let the arms stack those wings or maybe you bind. Maybe half a bind. Maybe full bind. You choose. You decide. Now, bring it up and around. Right into peaceful. You know where you're going. Flip the left palm. Offer it up. But this time, straighten the left leg. 
Reverse your triangle, reach up and back. Now float it up, half moon. Left arm reaches out and up, reach the right arm up to expand and shine open. Let that divine light open you up, cultivating that resilient spirit. Open up, maybe that Chapasana connection, make it big. Beautiful. Now, release. You might want to hop back for those solid planted hands. Peel the left heel up. Legs are in that L shape. Bend the left leg. Lift up and switch. Nice and slow, almost like moving through molasses. Three in a row and you're going to land right leg down. Left leg lifted. Now, step the left leg back, really bend the right leg. Dip the left knee down. Offer your arms up. Breathe in. Left hand forward, right hand back. Breathe out. Up and around. Peaceful. Flip the right palm. Arc it up and back. Pinwheel your hands down. Move your body through that flow. If you want to fly a little, lift it up. You choose your style any given day, any given time. Move like the real you. Whatever serves you best, whatever works for you on any given day, you decide. Meeting back in down dog. Let the right leg lift, roll open at the hip. Right knee, right tricep. Step it outside the right pinky finger. Left foot joins, malasana, top of your mat. Hands plant down, kakasana. You might want to move back a little because if you desire, you can move from your kakasana crow to Shirshasana B, tripod headstand, if that's part of your practice, if that serves you. Maybe a little variation would be Baddha Konasana upside down. Soles of feet together, knees wide. How do you overcome adversity and cultivate that resilient spirit? Create tools that slow the roll down. You are not your emotions. Don't own those emotions. They change every 10 seconds. Live your life by your decisions. And then ignite a group, a group that you can reach out to if you need help at any given time. I was always told that if you were to visualize a tent, those four pillars or corners of the tent are four people you could call on no matter what. And in the center is your faith, your spirituality. Come back to Kakasana. Make it a round trip ticket. Breathe. Plant your feet down and land in Malasana. Oh, beautiful job. Slow and steady. We're coming around the bend. Walk your fingertips forward, pop your hips up, kick your heels out past the baby asana. Exhale, bow down and fold, shake your head out. Peace fingers on your big toes, pop your heart up, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, sneak your elbows inside your legs as you pull yourself together. Shake out any uncertainty, any angst, any unforgiveness. Pull the big toes back up. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe out. Pull yourself together. Release the big toes. Just rise right on up. Breathe in. Heel toe your feet together. Slide the right hand down the right thigh. Left arm up and over. 
how do we overcome adversity? Reach up. Just have that knowingness in your spirit that the best is still yet to come. Lift the heart up. Breathe in. There's a plan for you. There's a plan for your life. Open your heart to it. Create those goal posts. Collect your hands to heart center. Chin to chest. Close your eyes. Bow your chin to solidify again and again the reason you unrolled your mat. Just tap it back into your heart. Seal it in, then offer it up. Swan dive down. Hinge, bend, and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Step or float it back. Move it through vinyasa or just step back to down dog. Now, lift the left leg up. Roll open at the hip. Bend the knee. Flex the foot. Spread the toes. Left knee, left tricep. Tap it up high. Step that left foot outside the left pinky finger. Hop the right leg up. Come back to malasana. Now, kickstand the right arm across this time, left arm lifts. Now, maybe you want to lace that bind or right hand, right shin, left hand, small of the back, heel toe the left foot into the center. Rise right up. You might carry the left shin with the right hand behind. You might want a full bind right into standing Mary Chasana. Breathe and lift up. You choose, you decide. Now from here, capture the right hand and foot. Knee to knee, baby dancer. Flip the right hand on the big toe side. Kick the right leg back. Lift the heart up. Breathe. Make it a big circle. Release it into chair. Utkatasana. Exhale. Bow down and fold. Heel toe your feet apart again. Come back. To Malasana, kickstand the left arm across. Breathe that right arm up. Now maybe lace that bind. Maybe left hand, left shin. Right hand, small of back. Left heel lifts. Heel toe the right foot in. Rise right up, maybe half bound, maybe no bound, maybe full bound. Standing Marichasana, stand into your poses. Breathe in. Stand tall. Slip the left leg behind. Hand to foot or shin. Slip it on the big toe side. Kick the left shin back. Reach the right arm forward. Baby dancer. Release it. Sit it into Utkatasana chair pose. Beautiful. Exhale. Bow down and fold. Inhale and lengthen. Plant your hands, left leg steps back, right knee slides down the right wrist. Come right into pigeon. Whoo, open up that right hip. Yes, now maybe before you descend down to sleepy pigeon, you want to bend the left leg, capturing that thigh stretch, lifting up super tall. Maybe you lift that right arm up. Breathe. But then do dive down for a little sleepy pigeon. Let your heart kind of snuggle on down, really opening up that right hip as you bow down. Let your head tap into the earth. Maybe you inch the left leg a little more into the center of your mat. Breathe in and breathe out. Are there any layers of stuff that you're holding on to that you could release? Make a conscious effort to release. To shed the layers of things that serve you no longer. Walk your body up. 
tapping in to ways to cultivate that resilient spirit. Switch up pigeon on the left. Maybe you go back to down dog, left knee, left wrist, left heel, top of the right thigh bone. Right leg goes long. Maybe you bend the right leg, peel the right heel in. Release it all down, smooth and slow. We all have that universal need to belong, to love and to be loved. Inch the right leg into the center of your mat. Just know that you are never alone <clears throat> as you tap into your faith, your belief. Know that with that connection, even when you can't see changes in certain areas that you're working toward, faith is when you believe it and can't see it. So stay in that place. Stay in that place of faith. We're in tumultuous times that are constantly changing with lots of distraction and lots of opinions of people that are different and so much havoc in the world. So we draw in to cultivate ways to strengthen that resilient spirit that you have. Walk your body up. Now spin the right leg around. Take your body right onto your back, just lower on down. You're gonna just lower on down so you can plant your feet, you might pull them in. Palms down, head down, feet down. Hips are gonna rise up, bridge pose. Let the heart lift. Maybe you tuck your shoulders under. But plant your feet solid. Soften your face. Breathe. Cultivate stability through your breath, through reaching out and getting help when you need to. Find happy baby. Take a little rock in your happy baby. Maybe you expand your happy baby out for a little Upa Vista or just stay with your tailbone heading towards the earth. Grounded, rooted, stable, yet open with your heart to the hope and possibilities of the goodness that lays ahead of you. Extend your legs out. Take up a lot of space. Take up a lot of real estate. Stretch your arms out, palms up, feet splay open, and rest your heart, mind, body, and soul. Shavasana. That be the ability to rest with that knowingness that all is well with your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions. We cultivate that resilient spirit by letting go of the ways that we numb and the ways that we are powerless, we tap into the opposite. Now you could stay here 
turn the video off five, 10, 15 minutes, or you could come with me just letting your hands roll around your wrists, feet around your ankles, and then stretch your body long, point your toes, reach your arms overhead, breathe in, and an audible sigh out. <sighs> Bend your knees. Roll over onto your right side, just resting your head right on your right arm. And then walk your body up to a comfortable, easy seat right at the top of your mat. Just bring your hands back to that Hakini Mudra, pressing the finger pads together, that focus, that concentration, that divine light from within your body, within your heart, within your spirit. Connect to it. Then breathe in, offer up all the good. Exhale out anything not serving you and seal your hands in that Anjali Mudra, bowing your chin to your chest, letting your purpose for coming in today be sealed in. Let your purpose bring clarity. Let it bring peace. Let it bring that knowingness that as you show up and be seen, that you are exactly where you belong. You are loved, you are enough. Just own it. And then let's finish off with one ohm to home. Look up, breathe in. Home. Go on out and be a blessing. Namaste. Full stop Can't believe I live in your